necessary in your videos. Well, the first thing you need is um, editing software or something to um, record your videos with, which I have here, uh, Pinnacle Studios and a Dazzle capture card. So, and then the audio, the um, way to record your voice, you can basically just use Audacity, which is probably the best thing you can use, probably. If there's anything else, just tell me. But um, I use Audacity, it's free. I have the so you just get this and you're good if you have a mic which it doesn't really matter at this point but the better the mic you have the better but yeah so you got this and you got audacity and then basically what you do is well basically what I do so I click so I would say let's say uh click start capture just put that there so you're gonna want to put this here this is how I make mine all right so you start capturing then you get this, and then wait till it starts recording. Just give it a second. And once it starts recording, you click this button, and then we gotta wait till this this starts this starts up. It's only doing this, just it's only doing this because uh, as, all right, there you go. It's only doing this because of the um uh because of the video. But yeah, so you do that, and then but remember the time. That you started capturing the video, so then you can sync it up, and I just write that down in a notebook, and then I sync it up when I finish making the video. So basically, what I do with the commentary, so you got this here. I um, I either use Pinnacles or I usually I use Windows Movie Maker to put in my commentaries, but I edit using Pinnacle Studios. So let's say you go into here, you go into Windows Movie Maker, and then um. You would basically just whatever um like let's say let's just use Pinnacle for as an example. If you want to do a live commentary, you just go into edit, and you got to save your commentary, save your video. You're gonna want to um when this hopefully loads up. Hmm. Really annoying. But yeah, so basically when you get into edit, there's a timeline. Put your video on the timeline. Then you're gonna want to put your sound in like the sound part of the timeline and sync it up and basically that's how you do your live commentary so yeah thanks for watching guys this is the jigga man and i'm um, signing out if you, if you have any other questions oh wait hold on look okay so you got here this is the timeline you're gonna want to drag your video on into the timeline and then basically you just get your sound you put it into the sound and then you sync it up so let's say it's just over here you sync it up to there and that's how you make your live commentary. You go to make movie or you can do with whatever editing software. Just use my strategy and you'll be fine. So that that's it. So thanks for watching guys. This is Jigga Man. And if you have any questions about on how to do this, if you have any questions, just put in the comments and I'll answer them. So thanks for watching guys. This is Jigga Man signing out.